We hear songs all the time. They become part of our lives. But how do they come together? This is Project Song, where we give songwriters two days to write and record an original tune as we try and document and reveal that creative process. I'm Bob Boylan, and our guest is Nellie Mackay. Nellie Mackay is a young songwriter and a singer. She's based in New York. Her songs are often topical, sometimes politically charged. They're filled with wit and wordplay. She has a love for the theater and a flair for the dramatic. We kick-started the process with a series of pictures and words. The images we chose felt like something Nellie would find attractive. They were from another time, some from the 20s and 30s, all images of Americana and all from the Library of Congress. Oh, um, Jesus, uh, I have pictures one of these? Oh. <laughs> the photograph Nellie Mackay chose was of a group of men dancing what appears to be the Charleston in front of a theater. And the word bravado was the word she chose. It became the inspiration for her song. I have no idea what yeah. I'm doing. Terrific. I think that's the best place to start. Why couldn't I have written a song in secret and brought it in here and pretended to be confused? <laughs> So it's not been many hours. Um, the picture, what are you seeing in the picture? Mm -hmm. I don't know. I don't know <laughs> what I'm making any sense. Look, I liked a lot of those pictures. I, I just wasn't sure. Yeah. Have you gotten anywhere, do you think? Well, yeah, I mean, I think I've got a song for but I'm not sure it has a point. Uh -huh. um, I know it's not, you know, pioneering, but maybe it's okay if I can just create something serviceable. It's hard to make something different. It's hard enough to do a bad pastiche, yeah. which is, you know, basically what I'm aiming for right now. But then to cross that threshold into that's it's very difficult. I wonder if this should, this next part, uh, we should try the wah wah. I lost my place, I'm sorry. Um, start on that last chord. Uh-huh. Um, actually, the, well, the tempo's gonna change anyway. Um, I, we, we, just, we can go from there, but, uh, let, let, let's create a completely different tempo. I don't know how we're gonna do this. Uh, and, um. <laughs> maybe, maybe we should have a talk about what your, what the form Well, of the I mean, is. that, that's, and I, you know, why the maybe, uh, we, uh, if you want, we could put the drums together so then we have the form there. Yeah. Okay, good, you good. Know. Maybe. Mm -hmm. That doesn't feel right. Nellie Mackay told us that our song needed three distinct drum parts. I got out my computer and I worked up some rhythms that would fit her request. <laughs> Um, um, mm. let's, let's just do that again. You know, see, this is the worst thing to do. I wrote a complicated bad song. <laughs> you know, <laughs> well, it, it might as well be simple. Could, well, you, maybe you could pull it out. 
Come on. Oh, Bob. I'm going to be a cheerleader. No. Where does this hope come from? Where's your cynicism? You work at NPR. Oh. I'm sorry. I'm just sorry in advance. I'm sorry. Well, um, if she's feeling like me right now, she is. Uh, you want to try some cello? Mm -hmm. A little tired. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Let's try some cello. Let me come. Let me come get it out for you. Okay. <laughs> oh, I don't know the chords there. Okay, uh, I don't know if it's gonna work. Oh, how was it? Yeah, I'm happy in here. That's okay? Yeah. <laughs> uh, good, so I'll just work out some uh, background vocals. It'll just take me a minute and then we'll. Ooh. If, if we did a few things on levels and I, I took away a copy and I, I came back tomorrow. How are you feeling? Oh, nothing. I'm, I'm just, I'm, I'm quite tired and I really think all I need to do now is, you know, finish the lyrics and... Okay. Um, I, you know... Why don't we have a seat at the bar? Think about it. Okay. Wow. What? The song. Oh, no, 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 you don't understand. There's a reason I'm not singing the main vocal tonight. <laughs> I'm going to give you one more night of hope. So you, you did something I, I actually, it boggles my mind, I'm sorry to say. That oh, no. To, to, to lay down the uke part first, having now heard what I've heard, you know, eight hours later, why not lay down the, the, the piano first? Because I get sick of piano. A piano's on everything. <laughs> I, I, I mean, I love the piano, of course, and there's a great deal of, of attachment and loyalty there. But I, 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 I like the other things, and the drum thing, it always seems so dry, and to not have chords, so I thought, oh, well, I'll do the uke. I'm just wondering, for you, where the ma magic is, or is there magic in mm. any of this? I mean, if you completely hear it in your head before it even gets the first note gets laid down, is it just a matter of execution, or is there something that really unfolds for you uh, in this process? Oh, I think a lot of what you think is going to work doesn't work. Yeah. Um, and uh, uh, no, not at all. I mean, when I first came in here, Jesus, I don't, know, I don't know how the other people did this. I think it's really difficult. I mean, and I'm big on secrecy, <laughs> you know, <laughs> and this is very... You know, uh, I'll be astonished if, 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 if we come through with anything. Project Song is a two-day process. Generally, there are two 10-hour days. But Nellie had a challenging concert schedule, so her days were cut short. We decided, to be fair about it, we should give her a third day in our studios to make up for the lost time. Uh, yes. So you've been scribbling words for a while? Um, I have, I have, oh, I've got a little bit farther to go, but first I'll put in uh, the thunderclaps, perhaps the loon, uh, a little bit of backing vocals, uh -huh. and then I'll freak out a little more, and then we can try to just put down the main vocal, and then I think we're pretty much there. When do you think you started writing the words? Do you remember? I mean, Oh, I did, like, the, the first time, but I didn't think that was going to amount to anything either, because, uh, uh, but but even just with the, the, the first melody, that first day, I, I wrote quite a few of the words. Uh -huh. A few of them have changed. Do you have a title yet for this tune? Yes, it's called The Cavendish. 
Cavendish. Yes. And Cavendish is? Oh, it's a magical place. And you're taking us there in three, in three little sections? <laughs> I guess so. <laughs> I don't know. There'll be two vocals I'll do, and this will be the first one, and then I'll do the second one. Can I just make a quick phone call? Is that okay? Yeah, sure, go for it. I just, I'm not sure. Hey, um, so it, it's just, you know, that, that uh, the, the bit with the music, when I go in the old pear tree and music, um, do you think, I, I said this, I said beautiful music, but um, the, fa the fact that I wrote this song, I think maybe I shouldn't say that. Should I say soft music or haunting, or lovely music, or is it all kind of, it sounds like I'm complimenting myself. What do you think, beautiful, lovely, haunting, or wonderful? Oh, fantastic. Okay. Then we'll go with that. Okay. Hopefully there won't be anything else. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. I love you. Talk to you. Curl yourself among the faded linens. Watch the friendly... Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, I'll, I'll drop in there after faded linens. Okay. It started at a party in the summer tree room With billiards, dancing, bowling and a comedy troupe The wunderbar is lovely in the spring But the Cavendish is where I find my wings Every medley starts our senses swaying Swinging to a rhythm all our own Keep the embers glowing Pass the hat and hold the phone Tiptoe through the kitchen and the parlor Whisper as you pet the Scotty tall Leap on up the stairway, turn out feet and bearing strong. The carven dish stood small in all its glory. glory. Survived both Ditch Lawrence and the war. To any iterations, beetles and libations. That fled to Montenegro. We nibbled nervously on bread rolls until the day rose and we were blind. And then she died. And then she did die. And there were faraway lights along the foggy moor, soft crescent moon and the old pear tree, and music, beautiful music, loud enough to wake the Let's quit while we're ahead. Yeah, okay, good. 
In just a short time, Nellie Mackay had written a complex suite. <laughs> there was something about the lyrics that seemed personal. So when all was said and done, I asked her to take me through the words and tell me about the Cavendish. You know, the Cavendish did have a remarkable history. And of course, when these people were alive, they were going through an incredible time in history. Um, things were changing so much. And I think it was even more of a shock to them because now we're so used to change. We're so used to this packed century, but they were just on the cusp of it. You know, Cavendish had withstood uh, two world wars, and England got pretty heavily bombarded. I mean, that's just a lot to see. It's like my nana lived through two world wars, mm -hmm. and uh, and uh, she used to sing like that, too. And they used to say she looked and sounded like Irene Dunn <laughs> and Norma Shearer. Then it goes to the Latin thing, and I guess that that just, it's a bit exotic, and I mean, exotic can be lovely, but um, it can also be very unsettling because you're, you're used to having your tea and crumpets, and I know that's what happened when I went to go to this hotel again, and everything was changed, and they'd taken out the lovely old locks, and they put in those hideous key cards. And so they ruined then, a good movie, basically. Well, <laughs> <laughs> they ruined a, 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 just a wonderful, wonderful place. place. Uh, that, that very nearly uh, killed me, or that kind of stuff does kill you in the end. There's just that so much stuff changes. But then when you die, you go to heaven, and you get to experience uh, your ver the very best part of your life over and over again, and it never gets boring, And uh, but there's never any drama. Everyone just loves you. It's like a constant fet, and everything, the food is delicious. You can eat as much as you want, and um, and the, the pillows are always so soft, you can sleep as much as you want. That was my favorite line, was the linen line. Oh, really? Yes. Oh, thank you. Well, and, you know, we used to stay in the room where the Beatles stayed, and this was when Pete Best was still with them. I think it was right before they got their contract, and it was in a little garret, and it was just wonderful. It was just wonderful. Terrific place. Thanks. Thank you. It's really been lovely having What's, you here. Oh, thank you so much, Bob. Truly. Thank you so much. Bravado. The frightful night in Corcovado. And life grew ripe like avocado. In obligado. The seismic changes slowly. Allegro, our feet had fled to Montenegro. We nibbled nervously on bread rolls until the day.